Welcome to Wired In. This month, we're continuing our discussion about lighting. Technologies that show a lot of promise that flash up and flash down. Right. Um, what's What's a good way in this process, you know, to not be burned by a technology that may show promise but doesn't, right. and then we get stuck? Right. It's not being the first. <laughs> That's probably the best. But, um, you know, you really so got... So you go first. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You really got to model that out and, and find out. You know, there's there's power over Ethernet is is a buzzword right now. Um, it has its... It has its application. What, what is power over Ethernet? So instead of using line voltage, you're actually the fixtures are actually powered by Ethernet cable. Okay. So you can control right down to that fixture. Because can, LEDs require so little electricity, right. you don't actually have to run electrical lines exactly. to it. Exactly. But the flip side to that is that you do have to run the electrical for the emergency circuit. <laughs> so it's turning out to not be exactly the payback that it was going to be. Um, but there are some applications for it. It's more if you really want to get into building controls and building management and controlling down to the actual fixture where there's sensors in, where if somebody's not at their desk, it goes down to 50%. Right. And you're doing that in an entire facility. If it's an office building and you have 27 floors and you're controlling to the fixture based on the person sitting at the desk or how they're walking down the hallway, you can really, really kind of manage that. But that's a very specific application. Right. And it's an investment up front. Well, and you're bought into it, right. whether it succeeds or not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're all in. <laughs> You're all in. So, you know, A, mocking it up, making sure it does what you want it to do, because uh, you, you, it sounds like a great idea. Then you bring in all the other pieces of that building together, and there may then be a problem with that system. It may not dim correctly. It may not do certain things. So you got to really make sure you mock that up correctly. So that kind of brings up, that kind of leads up into a point. Okay, so we've all decided this is what we want to do. We've mm -hmm. all kind of gotten on board. Right. Um, how do, uh, is the next step to set up a pilot? Is the next step to set up a test? Um, what it, what kind of is the, I get, does that right. depend on your industry or what right. you're looking for? Or? So if it's, it's to set up a pilot, if it's, say it's a single facility. You want to set up, you know, you want to mock something up if in, in that facility, make sure it meets everybody's needs. Make sure it meets the light levels that you want, the color that you want. And hopefully it improves the, the facility itself. You want to improve when you're done with all this, not just save money. Um, if it's a retailer or a restaurant, you know, chain, you really want to look at the entire portfolio. There's going to be a thousand locations. There can be 25 different, you know, types. You take all of that in. You look at all the utility rebates. You find the low-hanging fruit. And then you lay it out and, and say they have 25 different designs, you may mock up 10 different ones and right. really see how that really matches. And you're trying to standardize at the same time. You don't want to have 25 different things at the end. So that's where you really start to roll up a pilot program okay. nationally. How do I choose a location for a pilot? What, I mean, what are some good, um, some, some good indicators that a right. place is, that one of my locations is good for a pilot? Usually it's near headquarters, so people okay. can see it. Yeah, right? okay. that, That's usually the number one thing. It's somewhere where people are going to see it. Or that there's a very influential manager, district manager, regional, whatever. Um, a lot of times it's where the CEO shops. <laughs> it's that one, where you know him and his wife shop, or her and her husband shop. That, that's, that's a lot of the times that's happened. Um, but that's really what it comes down to. It's finding that. And then also, find the oldest one. Okay. Make it look the best. If that one looks the best, the new ones are going to look fine, right? So you tie all that in, and then you tie that design into new construction. So that's one of the other pieces we didn't talk about is you pull in new construction to this. Because now, as you're approving that design and you're coming up with the new, the new design of the stores, you loop in that retrofit opportunity and use that same technology for the new fixture. Maybe, gotcha. it's a, maybe you're, you know, you're doing a fluorescent LED replacement on the retrofits, but you're doing a new fixture that's integrated on the fix on the new fixtures, but you're trying to make a match so it's all, you know, consistent across the board. We're building this community around you. So comment, communicate with us. Let us know what you'd like to see, what kind of topics would be great for you to hear, and what kind of people you'd like for us to talk to. That concludes this short part of the conversation. Uh, look in the show notes for the whole conversation uh, or look in the next part where we're going to be talking about how the approach to lighting projects has changed really even over the last couple years. Until next time, bye-bye.